What's going on guys? Jerry Neutron here back with a brand new video. Uh, no, I'm not at CES this year. I actually stayed home, so I'm at the office here. Actually just playing with this graphics card. Um, I still got the XFX RX 470 in my rig. I decided to overclock it, so I wanted to show you guys my uh, results from overclocking. So the first thing that I did actually in this case was uh, up the power limit on this card. I noticed that, uh, and I mentioned this in my review, um, the boost clock wasn't really holding. It was fluctuating between uh, like 100 megahertz or so when I was gaming and I had started reading on the internet and noticed that uh, that appeared to be a power issue. So what I did was actually go into Afterburner and I turned my power limit percent all the way up. So plus 50%. I noticed once I did that, it actually held the boost clock steady like regardless of what happens. So 1256, it'll hold that the entire time until it hits its thermal limit. So and then I started working on the core clock. In this case, I actually worked all the way up to uh, 1340 megahertz. And I noticed that it was stable for the most part, but when I was running through my stress test, which I actually use the uh, the Fire Strike stress test, by the way, I find that to be one of the more taxing stress tests as far as uh, GPU ones are concerned. And uh, it was stable for most of the time, but then probably about like halfway through, I started noticing like weird artifacts and stuff like that. So I dropped it down to 1330. And uh, that seemed stable until one time I just got this random blue screen. I'm not sure what it was, but I, I freaked out about it and I just dropped it down to 1320. Now I did try going higher. I should mention that uh, by increasing the voltage a little bit, I may have been all the way up to like plus 40 or something like that. But I noticed with this card, it actually just can't take it thermally. The cooler on this card is really not that beefy, so uh, anytime I would try to increase the uh, voltage and the uh, core clock at the same time, the card would just max out at 90 degrees Celsius pretty fast, and it would start to downclock the card. So I really couldn't push it voltage-wise, so I decided to just leave the voltage at uh, zero or the voltage offset at zero. But I don't have any doubts that if the card was in a, a better position thermally that I could you know, give it some extra voltage and I could actually push that uh, core clock or boost clock a little bit higher than 1320 or 1340, whatever I started with uh, at the max. So anyway, yeah, that was my final core clock. Then I actually upped the memory clock all the way up to uh, 1875, if I can type. So 1875 was my max uh, memory overclock. I did notice that the memory with this card, it didn't really seem to make that big of a difference in performance. It was like maybe one or two FPS, which seemed to be really in the uh, kind of margin of error. And also one thing I did have to do as well was actually set a uh, custom fan curve. So in this case, this is what my fan curve looks like. It is uh, kind of aggressive but I actually wanted to make sure, uh, number one, that my card was quiet down low. So kind of down here in this area is usually where the card will hang out if I'm uh, like browsing the internet, watching YouTube, stuff like that, uh, which is nice because the card is not loud at all. But when I'm gaming, then it gets pretty loud and uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. But again, I'm gaming, so it's, mm, who, who really cares? But yeah, I kind of had to get aggressive on the, uh, fan curve on the top end because I noticed that at the end of my um, stress test, sometimes the card would hit the 90C limit and it would uh, begin to down clock, which I didn't want. I wanted the uh, card to be able to hold its boost clock as long as possible. And I was able to actually get it all the way till probably about the last uh, loop on the stress test because it does 20 loops. so. It uh, would hold the core clocks all the way up until that last one and it would hit 90C and start to down clock just ever so slightly. So, but anyway, that's kind of what I came up with as far as my uh, final overclock. So I'm at plus 50 on the power limit, 1320 on the uh, core clock, 1875 on the memory clock uh, and no extra voltage because the card couldn't handle it thermally. Uh, now that I have had a chance to overclock the card, I do kind of wish that Maybe XFX would have threw a beefier cooler on it. 
just so we could get some extra performance out of the card, but eh, oh well. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys quickly here uh, the benchmarks that I reran once I overclocked the card, just so you guys can see the difference between um, the uh, stock clocks and my manual overclock. All right, and so that's about it as far as uh, overclocking this card goes. I'm curious if anyone else has an RX 470, post your overclocks down below. Also post uh, what you used to test its stability because that has uh, a big impact. I'm noticing on what people report as their uh, max overclock. Also, let me know what you think about my overclock. Does it suck? Could you do better? <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Like the video if you like this type of uh, content. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Jerry Neutron. And until next time, see ya.